All right, we're back for a second episode of Comic Book Universe board game mashup, smash up. Uh, this one's going to be Moon Knight versus Kingpin. So we'll jump right into our, I guess we'll call this a movie trailer. In the urban labyrinth of crime and retribution, Moon Knight stands as a symbol of relentless vigilance against those who seek to plunge the city into chaos. The outcome of this perilous confrontation resonates through the city's underworld. A reminder that even in the shadows, heroes rise to face the darkness head on. In the dark underbelly of New York City, where the streets are a battleground between crime and justice, a tale of underworld machinations and heroism unfolds. Within the depths of an abandoned warehouse, a secret meeting is taking place among the criminal elite. The air is thick with tension as the city's most notorious villains gather to broker a sinister deal. They have united under a common purpose, to steal a cache of cutting-edge experimental weaponry from a high-security government facility. Unbeknownst to the villains, a vigilante figure prowls the shadows, listening to their whispered plans. Moon Knight, an enigmatic hero driven by his own code of justice, senses the impending danger. Guided by the lunar cycles and his unyielding resolve, he sets out to thwart the villain's scheme and protect the city from the devastation that could follow. The stolen weapons are not mere tools, they are advanced prototypes with the potential to unleash chaos and destruction on an unprecedented scale. The villains, led by the ruthless crime lord Kingpin, seek to arm themselves with this arsenal and establish dominance over the criminal underworld and beyond. As the warehouse's darkness serves as a backdrop, Moon Knight moves with calculated precision, his heightened senses attuned to the whispers of the underworld. Kingpin and his henchmen, a group of skilled and loyal operatives, maneuver within the shadows, their criminal prowess poised to disrupt the city's fragile balance. In a confrontation that blends martial prowess and strategy, Moon Knight confronts the villains. His moon-based abilities and combat skills clash with the coordinated efforts of Kingpin's henchmen. The abandoned warehouse transforms into a battleground as the fate of the experimental weaponry hangs in the balance. Succeed outcome. Through a combination of tactical brilliance and sheer determination, Moon Knight manages to outmaneuver the villains and prevent the theft of the experimental weaponry. The city remains safe from the impending threat, and the criminal underworld's attempt to gain an upper hand is thwarted. Moon Knight's enigmatic presence continues to inspire fear in the hearts of those who would challenge the city's justice. Okay, that part you were not supposed to hear. That is the if Moon Knight succeeds outcome. And now we shall find out if he succeeds. Moon Knight versus Kingpan. So he goes first. High chance it's going to be Kingpin, looks like. Only a two, three, or four. So Kingpin will go first. So we find Moon Knight in ranged cover, which gives him a plus two range defense. Um, Going to give him a, let's see, wait a minute. Sorry. Gives him a plus two, yeah, plus two range defense and a plus one range attack. He's in cover. Uh, cannot make melee attacks from there. And we've got Kingpin in the same and the henchman out in the open. Kingpin uses the power calling in favors. Gonna generate a gangster to join in. Gonna use the power manipulating the board on gangsters, giving ally additional rerolls. Choose an ally, give them one extra reroll. So we've got the gangster using a shotgun on Moon Knight. 
It's going to be a miss. He needed a 19. He got 15. As we talked about, Moon Knight's got a plus two due to being in ranged cover. Henchmen are going to try to use a beat down on Moon Knight. They're going to have to close the distance. They do so with a four, five, or six. They're unable to close the distance. So they're taking cover behind the building. We've got henchmen and gangsters involved here. And they are also taking cover. Now Moon Knight. Mystical Prophecy that will give an extra reroll. Success on a five or six. It's a three. Silver darts on Kingpin, henchmen, and gangsters. So he can target three of them. Does one point of damage each. So silver darts. Kingpin's going to try to use the staying out of the spotlight to avoid being one of those targets. Successful on a three or higher. Successful. They cannot be targeted by ranged attacks. All right, now on the henchmen and the gangsters. Both are hit. Both just succeeding. The six barely enough. No doubles. Henchmen stunned due to the double threes. Now battered, uh, the henchmen have one hit point left, as does the gangster. Now Kingpin, using Arch Strategist. Prior to the start of a combat turn, if this character is on the attacking side, the team uh, gets their available attacking action increased by three. Right, so that's going to make for some pretty dangerous attacks here. Moon Knight has six health points. Kingpin has seven, and the gangsters and gangster and henchmen each have one. Calling in favors again. Manipulating the board again. We got a shotgun on Moon Knight. That's a miss. Need a pretty high roll, 19 defense. So due to their, uh, they lost two on their roll due to their position, uh, and Moon Knight gained two thanks to his positioning. Again, he's in range cover, and they are taking cover. Now the henchmen are going to try to run up and close the distance with a physical attack. They need a four or higher. They failed. They're unable to attack. The gangster is now going to use a handgun on Moon Knight. Another low roll. That's going to be a big miss. So gangster two is now taking cover. So you can see Kingpin is basically directing from the back, not getting involved. Now Moon Knight, trying to pick up that extra reroll, needs a 5 or 6, doesn't get that. Use the silver darts, hoping to be able to take out two of those three uh, minions. That's going to be a three-way hit. Just making it on all the, on all accounts. Needs 17 in each spot. Gets it. Each taking one damage. One of the henchmen knocked out. One of the gangsters knocked out. One of the henchmen down to one hit point. So that'll end it for me.
noon night, but now Kingpin is down to one gangster at his side. He's gonna give his guys a bu his guy a buff of three to the attack. So in ranged cover now. He's actually back with Kingpin, I do believe. Calling in favors, gonna try to get another gangster. Manipulating the board, picks up a reroll. Now we're gonna have a shotgun attack on Noon Knight from one of the gangsters. It's a hit. 21 versus a 19. Moon Knight's going to try to avoid with his acrobatic avoidance. Needs a 5 or 6 for that. Gets a 1. So shotgun does 2. The damage modifier incredible pain tolerance of Moon Knight reduces that by one, so he's going to take one damage there. The other gangster is going to use a handgun now on Moon Knight. That's a miss. They are now back in. Well, one is in taken cover. Alright, let's see the position here, everyone. We've got... The Gangster and Kingpin in ranged cover, which is towards the back. Uh, taken cover, one, the healthiest, the fully health, two, he is in taken cover, which is a little bit closer, and Moon Knight is still in range. All right, so Moon Knight will go for that extra roll, does not get it. He's going to go with the silver darts again. Kingpin, trying to avoid being one of the targets. He does, and that's going to take out one of the gangsters. The other one's going to be to half health with the 18 versus their 17s. So we are in a loop of Kingpin calling in gangsters and Moon Knight taking down gangsters. There's the calling in favors again, manipulating the board. Shotgun on Moon Knight, that's a miss. Handgun on Moon Knight, that's a miss. Looks like that's going to be the only way Moon Knight's going to be able to close this as he's got to get rid of the gangsters. So I think we're going to use a... I think we're going to take over here. Let's see if we can get a little bit more done here. Uh, I'm unfamiliar with Moon Knights, I'm going to have to look over what these do. He does need multiple targets, so potentially what he was doing was the right. His silver darts. That. All right, so we're going to just let the AI continue. Used a reroll, so he could get his mystical prophecy. King 
and avoided this again. He's been pretty lucky there. That's prolonged this long fight. So one of the gangsters is going to be out again. The other one's going to be hit again. So we'll go through the same process again. Shotgun attack. Miss. is hit on this one. the handgun attack can he dodge it no he's actually not going to take any damage there thanks to his incredible pain tolerance and we shall go again That's going to be a problem. So the silver darts backfire. He's going to take a damage. He can't do anything else. He's wounded. He's down to four. So it look like, looks like Kingpin is going to win the war of attrition here. But you never know. But that was a that was a terrible round. It's going to build up the forces of Kingpin. And give them now three different attacks. That's a hit. He did avoid it though. So now handgun attack. It's a miss. Oh, he's going to re-roll that. Also a miss. That's a hit. Could not avoid it. So he's going to take one damage off the shotgun. He's down to three, and the villains are stacking up. Three health points left for Moon Knight. That's a miss, and this is going to be major trouble here. More, another gangster arrives on the scene. Some rerolls. That's going to be a hit. That's a failed activation. That's another damage. Moon Knight's down to two. Shotgun blast. Ooh. That's interesting. Double ones. So he's going to take a point of damage there, which takes him down to one. Another shotgun guy coming out. He's going to miss. That's going to be a hit on that shotgun. Moon Knight does not avoid it. He's going to take another damage there. They're in range cover. Taken cover. And that will end their side. Moon Knight down to one health point left. Uh, nothing short of a miracle would save this. All right, so there's three hits. One damage, one damage, one down, one to one, another one down. All right, so that takes out two. Same loop here for Kingpin. It's not broken. So the villains now. Another ally, another... Gangster, another reroll, another shotgun blast, and that's going to probably do it unless he avoids it with a six. Moon Knight has been knocked out, and the gangsters win. So let's hear our outcome for that kingpin victorious. Despite Moon Knight's best efforts, the combined forces of kingpin and his henchmen. Despite Moon Knight's best efforts, the combined forces of Kingpin and his henchmen prove formidable. 
They managed to seize the experimental weaponry, leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. Moon Knight is left grappling with the consequences of his inability to prevent the theft, as the city braces for the impact of the villain's newfound power. All right, in the urban labyrinth of crime and retribution. Haven't decided how uh, we're going to... I'd like some sort of long-running effect for uh, wins and losses here, uh, just to kind of give the world, uh, make it seem a little more cohesive and alive. So I'm going to figure out some way to... Uh, so we're Toad... Spoiler alert, if you didn't see the episode one. Uh, I put Toad in jail. Uh, Moon Knight's loss here. Uh, probably have him injured and out for a while, so probably won't see him in an episode anytime soon. But anyway, uh, this is going pretty good. I enjoyed the storytelling of it, and I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next one.